Hi everyone, welcome to another hard Sudoku from the New York Times. This one is March the 9th. And this looks like an interesting grid. Those twos will force a two in one of those. That's all I get for the top three rows. Uh, the middle three rows, there's a five and a four, but they don't match. I went box. Those fives will put it there. These fours are going to put it down here, but in three spots, not two. Oh, and I can put a six there and there. We'll actually place it here. Uh, one of these two. Not here, because this six rules these out. Um, five, four, six, okay, one... Seven, eight, nine. I think I'm done. Okay, the bottom three rows, uh, five is somewhere in there. Those two. Uh, two, six, one, eight, three, seven. So I'm done. Yep. Switching to vertically, those two fives are going to force one of those as a five. These twos are going to force a two and one of those two. One nine seven four oh eight. Okay, eights can go in one of these. As far as the rightmost three columns, that six and that six. Okay, one of those is six, but not here, so that's a six, and that's actually a place digit finally. These two sixes now combine with this six, which pulls that cell out to force a six in there, which will force a six in one of those two. Those threes are going to force one of those two to be a three. Interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, is there anything that looks in? Not easily. In column six, I've got two, five, six, seven, eight. I need one, three, four, and nine. But this one actually sees 1, 3, and 9. 1 and 9 by box, 3 by row, and 9 by row. So that's a hidden 4. This now can't be 1 or 9. That's a 3. These two are 1 and 9. Okay, uh, that 4 combines with this one to force it one of those two. A 3. Uh, this 3 and this 3 is going to combine to force a 3 in one of those two. think. Okay, box two looks interesting. I don't think anything is looking into it, other than eight, which I've already discerned, but five, six, seven, eight is what's left. This is five, six, or seven, because it can't be eight. I think those could be any of them. Yeah. Okay, I've got two-thirds of a five, six, seven triple here, but I don't know what else I'm going to get from it, at least not immediately, but row four also has five digits in it. One, four, five, seven, nine. I need two, three, six, and eight. Uh, this can't be two, but could be anything else. No, it can't be eight either. Okay, this is strictly two or six, and also could be three. This is two or eight, because it can't be three or six. Oh, and this one can't be three or six either. Okay, so this is a two-eight pair. Which means that's not two, this must be. I may as well get rid of those sixes, because that doesn't do me any good. Okay, this is the other half of 1, 9 to fill box 5, and I know the 9 because of the 1 there, so 9, 1, 9. Okay, I've got 2, 6, 8, 9. So these cells are from 1, 3, 4, 5, 7. Neither of these are one or four. 
Either of these are five. Not one, not three, not three, and not three. So five is here, one is in one of these two. Yeah, this is almost a perfect quintuple, except for the fact that seven could be in any one of these spots. But five, six, eight, nine. Now, now none of these can be two. These obviously are not two. This can't be two because of this. Where does two go in row six? It has to go there. So this two and this two force a two and one of these. This is not it, so that's a two. Now this two and this two is going to force a two and one of those two. Okay, eight. And you get the column is one of these two. Column three, that is, because it sees two, four, and six, and none of these can be eight because of that. So this is 3 or 7, because it can't be 1 or 4. That doesn't help us with anything at the moment. Let's see, 1, 2, 4, 6, so 8. So if this is 8, then this could be 8. They're definitely not one or five, so three, seven, nine are possible. Okay, so this isn't six that... Oh, six has already been boxed. Duh. Okay. One, two, four, six. I need... One, two, four, five, six. Okay, three, seven, eight, nine. This is three or seven only. Eight or nine. This one can't be eight, but I think could be the others. This one is definitely not seven, but I think could be three, eight, or nine. Yep. Okay, I've got eight, nine, and two of those three. I think. <sighs> okay, what's left? Looking for things with a lot of digits in it. Yeah, this area still isn't filled very much yet. I mean, this is not one, two, three, five, six. So four, seven, eight, nine. These cells are rather restricted. They can't be. Two, three, five, six, eight. So those are from one, four, seven, nine, but these can't be one. That's not nine. Oh, what have we said? Two, three, five, six, eight? So I need four, seven, eight, nine? Well, neither of these can be eight, nine, so these are four and seven. I know the order thanks to the given four. And we have a problem, don't we? No, oh, because I put 8 here. Okay, I need 1, 4, 7, 9. That sounds better. This is 1 or 7. This is still 7. This is 4. This now has to be a 1. And that must be 9. That's the only way that works. Okay, that's now a 3, 7 pair in row 6. So these are down to 1 and 4. How convenient. This is a triple that I probably don't even need to mark. Uh, these aren't seven, so seven's definitely there. Uh, one, three, four, five, six, nine. 
So these are from 278. But 7 sees both of these cells, so that's a 7. This is down to 2 and 8, which doesn't quite interact with this 2, 8, but that 7 tells me that's a 5. And I get rid of the 3, 7 from here. I now have a 3, 7 in column 7, along with 1, 4, 6, and 9. So I've got 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. I need 2, 5, and 8. 2 sees both of these cells, so that's a 2. These are 5 and 8. 2 makes this 8, and it's going to sort out all my 2 8s that I had sitting around. And now that's forced to be a 2, because this isn't. Let's see, these are 1, 4, and something. 9. This sees 4 and 9, that's a 1. So this is 4, which makes this 9. That's forced to be a 1. These two are down to a pair. 4, 7, which is not resolved, surprisingly. Okay, these... These three cells look like 3, 4, 5. This is 3, 5, it can't be 4. This is any of them. This is 3 or 4, it can't be 5. Oh, 6 could be one of those two. Let's see, I haven't put a 1 here in row 8, and it can't be there. These aren't 1, because that's a 1. That's a 1, which rolls these out. This can't be 1 because of that, so 1 in row 8 must go there. And now this is 3 or 4, because it can't be 5. So I now have this cell, along with this one and this one, that's a triple. Okay, one, two, five, six, eight. I need three, four, seven, nine for column two. This is three, four, nine. It can't be seven. I haven't placed a four there yet. Be three or seven. It can't be nine. Okay, that was not helpful. Uh, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7 here. It says this is 3, 4, 8, or 9, but not 4. So this is 3, 8, 9. And that's 3, 8, 9. Interesting. Let's see. 3, 4, 8, 9. There. That doesn't help me with a whole lot. I was hoping I didn't have to fill out the whole thing, but I might have to. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need four, five, seven, and nine for row one. This can only be five or nine because it sees four and seven. This one is definitely not five, but I think could be four, seven, nine. Okay, what are these? Not 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. So these two are from 5, 6, and 7. This cell C6 and 7, so that must be a 5. Uh, which means this is 9. Uh, that's not 9, and that's the breakthrough I needed. 4, 7, parent row 1 forces this to be a 5. None of these are 5. That's 6, 8, which forces this to be a 7. That's now not 5 either. This is down to 3, 4, which means that's a 5. Uh, 5 in row 3 places 8, 5. 7 in row 2 will place 4 and 7, and that 4, and that's a 3. So this 8 is going to force 6, 8, 3, 6... Not nine, it's three, eight, that's a seven. This is a nine, that's a four. 
that's a three. This is now an eight, three, four, three, seven, three, nine, eight, not six. So that's forced to be a six. This one is a seven, and that is a one. And there we go. Well, I managed to get this without filling out the whole grid, mostly. So I'll take it as a win, and thank you for joining me this morning.